Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kerryoth, and this is Maze. What the hell is Maze? Maze is a first person adventure game about what happens when two scientists misinterpret a memo from the US government and create sentient corn. And that sentence is pretty much the least ridiculous thing about the game. Says the Steam store page. So, I, this looks really weird, but interesting, and it's supposed to be quite funny. So surely, surely, it, it, it's, it's got to be worth a look, right? It's got to be worth a look. We don't have enough actual intentionally funny games. I don't think it's a first-person puzzle game, silly setting, like different sort of interesting cast of characters and uh, an absolutely absurd world, uh, according to the official description. It's got to be worth a look. It's got to be worth a look. I've actually been keeping a little bit of an eye on this. Because uh, it it seems really, really odd, which I quite like. You don't get a huge amount of just odd games anymore. I feel like as people have got more adventurous, as indie games especially have become more uh, more popular and they've become more more common, um, as in easily available. Because obviously before people were making loads of games, you just had no way to play them. Now you can get indie games all over the shop from anywhere. I feel like the 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 the, the envelope has been pushed to the point where there's no such thing as a truly silly game for the sake of being silly as much anymore because it's not as common. It's like, or at least it is common in that everyone can do it and therefore it doesn't feel like you see it very much. You're just used to it. You become acclimatised to daft stuff in games. So I kind of want to see more games that are just daft for the sheer sake of it, to be honest. Something a little bit different from the uh, ultra serious and yet ultra stupid stuff of like Call of Duty and Battlefield 1 and all of that stuff. Well, uh, well, <laughs> yep. That was definitely corn looking, running away there. I mean, it looks nice. A little bit of, is that a bit of motion blur? I can't really tell. I feel like it might be. I didn't see an option to get rid of it, uh, although there may well have been none, I just didn't notice it. So I'll, I'll ignore it for the moment and just carry on. I mean, it looks nice, it looks real good. My explanation as to not feeling like I see that many uh, that many deliberately, funnily daft games it was dreadful. But you got what I mean, right? It's just stupid stuff in games is so ubiquitous now that you're used to it, and it doesn't feel like it's intentional a lot of the time. So it feels like it's more rare, even though actually it's less rare. It's just you become acclimatised to it. That's what I mean. That's what I was going for. I just explained it in a dreadful fashion. Look, I've been ill. Real ill. <laughs> I've not been good. Ooh. Okay, well. Okay, so we need a hand, a key, and a circle. There's a house that way, apparently. There's a house that way and a river that way, I assume. Oh, the soundtrack's f funky. So does this mean that I don't have a hand? What do I have if I don't have a hand? I'm curious. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm currently recovering from a... Oh, that's actually very helpful. Let's see if the... Uh... No, no, it's just we've just got quality, shadows, anti-editing, text post-processing. A huge number of options, but that's not too bad. I won't bother looking at the controls, because it'll tell me. I don't want to do either of those, do I? I want to unpause it. I was just going to click exit to menu. Yeah, I've been severely ill. I haven't recorded anything for like five days now. So I'm rusty. I'm mildly rusty. It's amazing how much of a difference that has. If this corn is sentient, can I piss it off? He says, trying to break the game immediately. No. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's pretty. Look how nice that is. Oh, I have to say, I do like the way this looks. Admittedly, I'm getting minor pressing Q does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. And of course, it's called Maze and another type of thing that is a maze is a thing you get lost in, isn't it? So, M-A-Z-E as opposed to M-I-Z-E. Oh, Ooh, okay, hello. 
that would appear to be some sort of roadblock there. You did a great job picking up that item. Okay, well that's... So I've got an English muffin. <laughs> I can now... And they're right, Q just absolutely... Whoa, hello. This muffin is most definitely no idea if it consumption inspired how much you try, all you've done is given yourself a headache. Right, well... Can I, can I put it down? I, I, I get that. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I can put it down yet, so I'll just leave it. Left clicking whilst holding... Oh, there we, yeah, so I, I already did that. You're just giving yourself a headache, yeah. Oh, okay. We've reached a glade. Yeah, I've, I've had severe illness, so I'm slightly rusty. I've been uh, procrastinating rather than record because I was convinced I was going to mess it up immediately. And I did, by talking nonsense at the start, but then again, what's new about that, eh? Can I... Can I throw the... Ooh, oh, hang on. I got a welcome note. And I don't have a cursor for this bit, so this is... A note lazily scribbled. Ah, includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes. And also says, open the big door and we'll probably say hello. <laughs> well, we can't get any further that way, can we? Ah, shift or sprint. Excellent. I didn't try it before in case we missed something, but I'm comfortable now. I'm comfortable. I'm happy. Ooh. Yeah, press the space bar to look at the story items. You follow it. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Ah, it looks like a spooky house. Ah, so that's leading you back to the vault. So we've got the house here, and then the, the, the vault in the other direction. What looks like the vault. Could be a vault. Could just be a storage container with a weird entry thing. I don't know. So, when I picked up the muffin, the other boxes disappeared. So, perhaps, once I get some item or other... The other things will disappear. Oh, when you see the place icon, you can use an item. So I can. Yeah, I can't. I can't place it there. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a locked door. I, I get it. I get it now. So can I put the English muffin down somewhere? <laughs> that would be. That would be interesting. So the door's locked. I didn't need the English... Oh, hang on, we can go on the back. Ooh. Ooh, hang on. Can we... What is that? Can I crouch? Yes. That looks like something, but I wonder if I can only access it from the other side. We'll see. We'll find out. Ooh, there's a, there's a thing there, so I'll try the back door and then... Oh, no, back door isn't interactable. All right, fine, fair enough. Uh, let's try over here. Aha! Are we now going to get locked in a chicken coop? Hey! Got a key. Okay, nice. So I've got an English muffin that's hard enough to give you a headache and a key. <laughs> pretty standard, pretty standard uh, inventory for when you first start up a game, right? Where is that big thing over there? There's definitely a big thing over there. Oh, a weird statue. Let's go in the house. We'll go and have a good way to statue in a minute. Uh, give me the key. Hey! Hello, weird people in a weird house. Okay, so we've got a new item in the folio. An invoice for a commissioned wooden statue costing the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large old oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down oak tree. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm guessing, uh, I don't know, I'm getting quite a nice vibe from this, to be honest. What was that? <laughs> Night Danger, a Mick Murphy mystery by Reginald D. I mean, now you see, people would say that it's, it's Higginbotham, but obviously it's, the joke is Higginbotham. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. Right? 
I feel like actually being able to read it would be more effective in that in that one, but sausage grinder. Something is jammed inside. Do I even want to? Oh man, I was hoping I could I could just twist it and it would un it would just fruit crate. What the hell? Alright, okay, hang on. An old sink. Hey, we've got a bathtub plug. Oh, hang on. The sink is now plugged. Is that that is important then? Nail clippers. Can we use the nail clippers? No. <laughs> I got all excited then. To <laughs> see how I got Rancid corn oil. No, I can't do it. Can I put the rancid? The smell is worse than imagined. <laughs> so why, why did I do that? I just did that because I, I thought I could, and I could, and I don't know why I did it. That's probably not the best way to go about stuff. Press C again to crouch and C again to not crouch. You can do this forever. Thank you. There we go. So we've got a secret door. We've got... What is this fruit freight? Fruit freight? Fruit crate for fruit freight. Fruit are the uh, auxiliaries for the towel. Oh, nice! Have I just? Did I just block that by accident by putting the fruit? The God damn it! The fruit crate on the floor. I think I did, didn't I? Okay, I can't jump up. What have I just done? Have I just have I just screwed myself there? I have a horrible suspicion that I've just done something stupid that I could have got in there, but because I picked up a thing and was like, "Oh look, I can do this," I've I've done that instead of doing what I should have done. What have we got here? Ah, a bobby pin. Now I know we know what this is for, don't we? It's to get the crap out of the meat grinder that we may or may not need to actually get out. Can I, uh, what about the English muffin? Let, let me pass. Let me pa oh. Yeah, I think I, me I think I messed I'm, I'll probably mess something up there, but it's fine. Let's get this bobby pin down this, down this grinder. Oh, come on. Really? What about these? No, nah, no, nah, it's not going to happen, is it? Maybe we'll find something in the uh, in the in the cellar. I've not seen any uh, characters yet. I was promised a wonderful cast of characters. I'm hoping that I will see. Oh, I'm missing a fuse. Oh, hang on, hang on. I can sort that. No, no, you can't. You can't bridge it with a bobby pin or a, or nail clippers. Surely. I put it to you that surely such a thing is is permissible. What about oh no, we came up this flight of stairs. Immediately I get lost. In a basement with like two options, I get lost. Story of my life. Okay, we've opened the cellar doors. Nice. There's an absolute racket going on outside, and I've got no idea what it the hell's happening. Sounds like a helicopter's hovering over my house. And since uh, last I checked, I hadn't escaped from prison, I'd prefer it if it didn't. Oh, hello, that's a, that is a proud statue right there. Broken shovel handle, oh my god. This is getting more and more complex as we go on. Okay, so there's some boxes there that we can't get past. Complete. Ah, here we go. I forgot we could do that immediately. What an idiot. Okay, so. That's just a little... Yeah, we can only go back to where we were. That's fine. From there, for the moment, anyway. Okay, so. Completely useless. But hopefully she wanted to tip something up. Ah-ha! Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. ha ha Yeah, I've got you. Nice! Okay, bobby pin. Picking a lock. 
but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your debt at that point and didn't notice there was no ink until a few days later. <laughs> Christ. I, although, I will say, pencils don't have ink. Minor point. Fiction at your bar when it comes to personal hygiene, there are only two things these clippers give you. Grip something lodged in the wall and give you tetanus. Okay. And we already know that the English muffin is useless. Don't need to jump, do I? For some reason, I've got the uh, the, the bobby pin out as some sort of weapon. It's very weird, this, but it's not creepy, which I like. Okay. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, scenting cornstalks, and why did we do this? <laughs> I'm quite liking this, you know. I'm liking it. It's very, it's very charming. It's a very charming game, this. Ah, oh, an item can be placed here. Well, I'll take that. Smash something perfectly flat. <laughs> Remember, you can never unflatten things. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. It's, it's, yeah, I... It has a lot of, uh... This feels like a game that has had a lot of care and attention placed onto it. You know, it's, it's one of those... Sometimes you pick up a game and while... While I have to admit, I, I, I like the abstract humour and I like the uh, I do like the item descriptions. It could be a little lighter and a bit more natural in some cases. Um, not all, not all, not nowhere near all. Most of these jokes are daft enough and sort of. Um, that was weird. Yeah, sort of, sort of. Uh, are just just right. Some of them aren't landing quite as well with me as I would like, but that doesn't change the fact that most of them are. And uh, and yeah, it feels like there's been a... I like it when it feels like there's been care put into something, you know? It, it feels like... feels like this is something that has been really properly... I wanted to see if I could do something with the muffin back on. Um... It's been properly loved as it's been made, which I can't smash it with that. I was hoping I could put the muffin in there, <laughs> just for, just because why not? Oh, hang on. If I have nothing in my hand, can I? It says I can place something in there still. I think I've already poured that stuff in. I feel like whatever's in there is the thing that I could put in the sink that would do something, but I don't know what it would do. I just, you know when you just get a suspicion, a hint of a suspicion? No, we can't do anything with that. And we've got the fuse box with missing fuse as well. I can't see anything on the floor to do with that. That's the way out. Okay, oh hang on. Was that? No, it wasn't. Okay, let's let's wander outside again. So that was the chicken coop that we've been in. Some weird stuff on the floor around here. I wonder if we can go that. And yes, we can go that way. Q still does nothing. <laughs> I remember that. Thank you. Oh, lovely! It's a little outhouse. Ah, rusty nail jammed in a wall. So, nail clippers out. Yes. We've got a rock. A mediocre rock that you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It's completely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. <laughs> okay. So now, so now, I would hazard a guess that we can use the nail to dislodge the... Stuff in the meat grinder, or alternatively, alternatively, we you can use the nail here. Yes, use rusty nail to fuse against safety regulations. Restored power to farmhouse. It is slightly less dark than it was before. Oh, can you hear that? There's definitely something moving about in there, isn't there? The background music is, is just enough to know that you're there, but it's not enough to be obtrusive. 
which again I quite like. Ah, a CD player. You picked up a CD, good for you. A new path has opened to you to the barn and silo. It's a bit, a bit direct there, but alright. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Can't put the CD in the sink. I'm determined, you know. I'm absolutely determined to stick something else in that sink. Yeah, I don't think I even checked this place properly before. I didn't even notice there was a... Well, mind you, I wouldn't be able to pick it out anyway. Oh, look at that. Basari. Alright. Okay, so a new path is open to you to the barn and the silo. Well, there's the silo, so we'll go this way. Unless the barn and the silo are one and the same place. You can tell I'm enjoying this because I'm still playing it. I already was, but thank you very much, game. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm quite enjoying this. It's a nice little puzzle game. You're stuck. Remember to press E to examine your equipped items for clues. Okay. I mean, this, you can bash something flat with it, so you don't really need too much in the way of clue helping for this thing, but... Okay. Oh, I meant to pick that up. I'm used to E being pick up and, and left mouse being used. Being used, even. Which I think is fair enough. Okay, Corn of the Free World. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the colour yellow. A few species are sold in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Interesting. Uh, we can't take a we can't take a shoe horse a shoe a horseshoe. God damn! What has happened to my ability to talk? I'd say this is what happens when you when you have to take a few days off. Uh, you, you don't half lose your grip. Okay, half a diagram. Contains very complicated looking equations, scribbled in orange pen, a drawing of a person, and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. <laughs> Start to wonder exactly who I am that is trying to do these things. Okay. There's a part of something or other you can sweep up this booty. Knew that, but you didn't notice this broom is haunted. <laughs> this will not <laughs> affect your adventure in any way. <laughs> the ghost is currently away on business. <laughs> Okay, I like that. That's, that's good. <laughs> Christ. Okay. It says top secret on it. It's an old CD. Label faded. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something of a something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. That's reassuring. Bit of a gym in the... Uh, the top of the barn there for some reason okay okay so we've got a broom we've been in the barn we've got a broom we've got an old cd we've got half a diagram a pair of wellies some gloves a hat okay let's can't go up anywhere so i think we're i think that's it in here i don't think we've missed anything I like the fact that although it is a puzzle game, it's not making you, like, with levels like this, if it made you sit there and endlessly hunt for, like, one item on the floor, that would be infuriating, and it's not making you do that. Like, you've got the area, you want to know what's here, this is what's here. I, I like that approach to things. Okay. Ah, a padlock. But what if I had a bobby pin? Those are some shiny doors. Can be full of. Oh, I see. Ah, hang on, hang on. Where's the brush? The broom. Ah, nice. So now I've got this needle nose pliers. Something ah the sausage grinder. Excellent. Oh Christ! Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees, possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Dear me. And a blueprint. Construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility, with a farm situated on top of it. 
facility itself actually looks set actually set an arch architectural record having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere <laughs> uh, yeah, I yeah I'm I'm really I'm getting almost a Discworld-esque feeling from uh, from these jokes which I I love frankly it, it feels it feels quite Pratchett this it really does feel quite quite Pratchett which is I mean if you if you know if you know me at all you will know that that is possibly one of the highest compliments I could possibly give uh, Terry Pratchett was by far my favorite author <laughs> just like just like most of the English reading world but there you go it's not exactly unique to say that you love Terry Pratchett doesn't stop me thinking that you should love him though brilliant author a warped key fob that's an ideal place for it ah that gets put down so oh man where the hell do we put this thing okay ah yeah so we can place it and then smack it with that mallet that we took earlier right question is where the hell did we find it because I I took the mallet from somewhere oh maybe I should have left the mallet alone mind you then I just wouldn't be able to remember where the hell the mallet was so that's actually not really a solution at all is it is it in here somewhere or was it up here Ooh, it might have been up here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I'll place it there. Give me that mallet. Boom! The key fob is perfectly flat, but you can't up a toss like a frisbee so far it goes. You regret your decision immediately. Okay, well, we've got a key fob now. What are you looking at? Uh. But you know what? You know what? This has been like the first half an hour of this game. I'm actually really enjoying this. I've got to say, it's a pleasant surprise. I like the writing. It, it's a little bit hit and miss, although I'll say I'll say right now it is definitely more hit than miss. Um, it's got a nice sort of, as I say, it's got a nice sort of Terry Pratchett feel to it. A lot of the jokes. It's it looks really nice, especially when you're down amongst the uh, amongst the corn. It's a it's a really nice looking game. I like the puzzle elements of it. It's, it seems to be very well thought out, and it's it's sending you to different places, but it's not being an arsehole about it. It's not like you get somewhere and it's like, there you go, find find this needle in this haystack. Instead, it's yeah, you need to have a look around, but it's not going to hide stuff from you, which I really appreciate because I hate it when I hate it when games revolve around that false pretense of of length by just making it impossible to find the stuff you need to complete the puzzles that you need to complete to finish the game. I hate that. And this game doesn't do that. So that's that's a huge plus in my book. Um yeah, I have to, I have to say I'm, I'm impressed. I'm I'm enjoying this. And I'm going to play more of this and I'll I will most likely record it because I've actually yeah, I've enjoyed my time with this game so far. It is not it is nice. Yeah. Maze, not, not a bad game at all, not by any stretch of the imagination. I'd go as far as to say that so far, I would, I would probably recommend picking this up. This is, this is, this is fun. It's charming. It's clearly had a lot of love spent on it. Yeah, I, I approve. I wholeheartedly approve of Maze. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. That was Maze. I enjoyed it. I'm going to play more of it. You should probably have a go at it as well. But I'll stick a link in the description so you can find it easily. Although Google would probably also do that as well, but you know what? I'll just be—I'll just do it. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Tulu.